what's up guys and welcome to my new video today i'm gonna be talking about csgo not starting in macOS big sur and what you can do about it um, yeah in my last video you could already see that i had the problem i couldn't start csgo um, when actually i wanted to benchmark it or at least show you how many fps you get um, in the game and one guy on reddit wrote me that you just have to um, put two commands inside for the start and then you can launch the game without any problems and yeah so that's what i'm gonna be doing i just download uh, csgo from scratch um, just to show you that it works like I didn't change anything like anyone can do it you just download the game and then I'm just gonna be showing you when you download it and you press play that it's not gonna work this takes like really long until the game finally launches might be because it's the first time I'm launching it. And then it's gonna happen the same thing that you already saw l the last time. It's just gonna bring me to the, it's just gonna show the beginner, beginning video of like the intro from CSGO. here it gets stuck you cannot do anything I try to press escape enter anything or click with the mouse it doesn't change anything you're stuck on this screen and yeah so what we're gonna be doing is I am just gonna close CSGO so you're gonna go to options in the right side you go to general launch options and then you type in full screen and no vid that's the same how i wrote it you can see that those launch options if you go to steam um, they just mean that no vid is that it um, doesn't play the valve intro video and full screen is just so it runs in full screen mode um, after that you just close it and then you can start the game um, it's just gonna take a while again And you can see the game is starting again and you can already see you can just close the intro video and there you go you're already inside the game now it's no problem to launch I just went into the game settings those are the standard settings that it's gonna give you and yeah I guess I will just start one round so you guys see how the game runs on macOS. So there we are. I start one round and with the standard settings of the graphic. And you can see we get like around 40 to 90 FPS. Um, somehow the game has all the time like really strong um, 
it breaks in from the FPS. Sometimes they go, go really high and then they just go down like 50% down. I think it's just that optimization, probably. So, anyways, I'm gonna change the resolution. Um, first, I'm gonna put the global shadow quality low. Um, effect detail medium. Shadow detail medium. Team, come back, come and back. since I'm gonna put up the resolution, I'm gonna turn off anti lacing. So, yes, we're just gonna put it to the highest re resolution possible. And let's see how that works out. You can see it's like, of course, the frames dropped, uh, but it's still running good, like it's playable. We get like around 42. 60, 70 FPS. Um, almost hit like 80, yeah, like hit 80 FPS. Just ignore the bad gameplay, but you can see mm, it's the same like before. The frames just suddenly drop from 80 to 40 FPS. And um, yeah, I just think it's must be some kind of optimization problem because the M1 chip actually has the performance could run much better and it runs much better in Windows To make the game better, more smooth, I'm gonna put the resolution a little bit down. And also, I'm gonna put the textures to medium, although I think it's probably not necessary, but, anyways, I'm gonna do it. And let's see how that works out. We're getting like 90 FPS, almost 100. 70 yeah like 50 to 80 now it actually runs already much better probably it's, it has to do with the textures but of course it's again the same thing all the time we have like strong break-ins of the FPS Anyways, like it's totally playable, but of course on Windows it's much better optimized. We can just hope that finally Apple talks with Steam so they optimize the games more for the M1 chip. But yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. And hope to see you in the next video.